Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to learn a really fun face. Uh, as you've, if you've been following my photos on Facebook and Instagram, wherever, you'll see this face popping up a lot. It's a face that I really love to use because it's big, it's impressive, doesn't take that long to make, and doesn't take a lot of balloons, but it really is really cool. And then a lot of times I'll make it with a small body, makes it sort of a parody character to thing. So grab some balloons, get ready to have some fun. Oh, and don't forget, uh, check the link below. I'm going to have uh, links for a body. Uh, I'm also going to have links for uh, a shirt that uses a similar head to this. It's really cool and a lot of fun. Let's people know that you're a top-notch twister that they need to book you for your party. So check that link out too and grab your balloons. Let's get ready to have some fun. Now for this, we're starting with two of the 360s. I've got a peach blush and a white. As you can see, I've tied the ends together. The white I've blown up maybe 10 or 12 inches. We're not going to use all of it. The peach blush I've left a little more than hand with uninflated on the end. And the way you want to start, remember to always squeeze to soften your 360s, the larger balloons in particular. You're going to bring them together and then pinch and make two about hand width bubbles by just twisting those together. This is going to be the teeth and the, ultimately the bottom jaw. And you can adjust the size of it if you want a longer bottom jaw. You can make this longer, shorter. So you have it doesn't have to be this size. It's whatever you want to make it to. Now we're going to take, remember to squeeze them again. I'm going to make two more bubbles, also about a hand width, by twisting those together again, if I can hang on to them. There we go. Now, what we're going to do, this next part is optional, but I think it makes it a lot of fun. I've got the two 160s, they're both caramel. I've tied the two ends together, blown each one up about a little more than a hand width. These will be the eyebrows eventually. So what you're going to do is take, and where they are tied together, twist them here into this top portion here, and then just leave them hanging there. They're going to kind of be in the way. You just have to work around them. But we'll get back to them in a little bit. Now you're going to make, this is the fun part is hanging on that. Sometimes I find it's easier to make one bubble in each. Again, you want to get the two hand width bubbles, twist those two together. These will be the other eyeball. And then once you've got those together, then I've got three pairs of bubbles here. Now you're going to bring the middle together, and what I'll do is I'll grab it and then grab the top two there, twist them all around a couple of times to bring those in. And I'm going to take these other two and wrap them around once or twice to help secure that. We don't need any more of the white, so we're going to remove the excess of it. And I'm going to go ahead and tie that. I don't want air leaking out later. And then just tuck that up in the middle there. So now we have, again, this is going to be the teeth. These are going to be the two eyes here. Now you're going to come out and make a small, about a two finger bubble out of the peach flush. And then you're going to make a round bubble that's going to be a pinch twist. So make that a pinch twist. This will be one of his ears or her ears. Then you're going to make about a three finger bubble, and we're going to keep squeezing it soft. About a three finger bubble, followed by another pinch twist. This is going to be the nose. Now you need another three finger bubble, same size as that one there. Another pinch twist for the other ear. And then you need one more bubble the same size as this one up in here where we started coming out from the middle. So about a two finger bubble is what that is. Then you're going to bring all of this and twist it back into the middle again. Twist it around a couple times. And the rest of this we don't need anymore so I'm going to pop it off. Tie that. And again I'm going to tuck it up in the middle there to get it out of the way. Now we've got the beginning of our face. You can see where we've got ears, nose, these are the cheeks, these will be the teeth, these will be the eyeballs. So now we're going to grab our other two 360s. Again, the peach blush and the caramel. I've tied those together as well. And each of these whew, have about four or five inches, you know, a hand width or a little more uninflated on the end. Now what you want to do is where these two are tied together, you're going to twist into one of these pinch twists on the side that are the ears. So I'm going to just wrap it around a time or two. The caramel is going to go up top. That's obviously going to be the hair. The peach flush is going to go on the bottom. And that's going to be the one that's going to wrap around for the mouth. But 
we're going to pause because we need to add I find that it's easier if we go ahead and add our 260 that's going to be the neck and the nose piece so we'll go ahead and add that now so grab your 260 now we've got our 260 peach blush and I've blown it up leaving quite a bit inflated because we're not going to use all of it squeeze it make it soft and we can do at the very beginning you're going to pinch a little round bubble make that into a pinch twist and then I'm going to take that pinch twist and split it into two so you've got two small round bubbles on the end there and then we're going to take this and come into our nose and twist it in there so I'll twist it around a couple times you want the tail of the 260 or the part you're going to be using here in a minute up on the top spin it around and you want those two little bubbles the split pinch twist to be on the bottom there those are going to be the nostrils on our nose if you can see that there we go see we got our nose and our nostrils now what you want to do is i'm going to take i'm going to squeeze this 260 and make it pretty soft as well i'm going to wrap it over the top in between the two eyebrows there bring it down to the back and then you're going to take your peach blush or your lighter colored 360 wrap it around the back of the head and you want to make sure and capture that 260 underneath it there see how it kind of wrapped over it that'll hold it in place come back to the other side twist into the other ear just like that now we've got kind of a strange devil looking thing here but you can see how I've wrapped that around the back of the head capture that 260 I'm gonna pull that down soften that a little bit this will eventually be our neck and how we're going to attach it to a body if you want to do that okay now with the remainder of that peach blush you're gonna wrap over these here where these two are tied together and then back up into this other pinch twist on the other side so you want to bring it where it comes up kind of snug the size of the bubble will depend entirely on how large you made those two bottom bubbles so twist it around twist it in really good and then any excess you have we're going to pop that off I've got that little tail I'm going to go ahead and tie that so that doesn't come undone I don't always tie these ends but in these I like to because I don't want this coming undone it's a little trickier there and then you tuck that back in and you can see his face beginning to take shape now we've got the, the caramel up here what we're going to do with it let me turn it backwards you can see and all we're going to do is wrap over the head make sure your eyebrows go together towards the front where the eyebrows are go over the head and then come down to the other pinch twist on the side if you want his hair to be parted you can put a twist in it here on the side if you want a side part here if you want a middle part so that's entirely up to this one i'm not going to part his hair we're going to have just one solid hair going across twist into the ear on the other side so now you can see his face really beginning to take shape now i'm going to bring this to the back squeeze it so it's nice and soft then I'll go across the back to the opposite ear. All we're going to do is just go back and forth a time or two until that's kind of filled in better. So twist that. Normally when I'm doing this, I'm holding it up against my body to stabilize. But if I do that, you can't see what I'm doing. So it's a little trickier this way. Squeeze it soft again. Go back across to the other pinch twist I'm going to put it down the table for a second and twist it in we're twisting back into the other pinch twist on the other side now this excess we're going to pop off I'm just going to twist that one and secure it tuck it in really good so now we've got the bulk of our face we've got hair across the back I'm going to straighten that up just a little bit there we go so now we've got that we still have our eyebrows slash horns piping in there 
So there we go like that. That's the bulk of the face. Let's go ahead and do these eyebrows because they look kind of weird hanging out there. We'll finish the bottom of the face here in a second. I'm going to push the hair back just a hair. Pardon the pun. Now all you want to do is take these eyebrows. You're going to take one of them, tuck it back through the first strand of the hair, pull it snug, and then come down and twist around the ear. We're going to trim the excess off. And now you've got an eyebrow that you can kind of position if you want. And we'll do the same with the other one. So tuck it through the hair. Pull it back and down. Go to this, the ear on that side of the head. Twist it around the ear three or four times. Trim the excess off. So now he's got some eyebrows that you can kind of shape to change his expression a little bit. And you can see he's really beginning to take shape here. This last step, you could do without it, but I like to do it because you've got all this excess gap right here. And just a heads up, if you're going to draw teeth, I will go ahead and draw the lines on now before I add this last piece. That way I can get way up in here and down to the bottom and I don't end up writing accidentally on my 160 and he's got these weird random marks around his mouth that look a bit strange. So we're going to take our 160. I've inflated most of it. doesn't matter. We're not going to use all of it. And again, I will squeeze this and kind of stretch it out to make it really soft because they want it to be as thin as possible and soft so it'll fill in better. Now you're going to take and twist the end of it into one of the ears. It doesn't matter which ear, just whichever side you want to start on. There we go. So you get it twisted in, and then I'm going to kind of tuck it down inside. And then what you want to do is you're going to follow the contour of that white all the way around till you get up to the other ear, twist it into the ear. Pardon me for getting out of view for a second there while I twist that in. And then if you push that down in, see how that sort of fills in around his mouth and gives his mouth a little bit better. He's got like lips now. And we still have some excess. So I'm going to make it soft again. And I'll do the same thing coming across the top. I don't twist it into his nose unless I'm doing a mustache. If I'm doing a mustache, mustache, I'll bring up and twist it in and then come back down. But I'm not doing a mustache since it's the same color. You'll go across. Twist it into the, let me make that a little bit smaller. Twist it into the other ear. Pardon me for getting out of camera for a second there. Pop the excess off. Twist that around a couple of times. And then you're going to take, and just like with the other, kind of tuck this up in there. Just roll it up in. I'm going to hide that little tail. There we go. And just kind of and there you go. Oops, we got a crooked ear here. Let's straighten his ears up. And there's your face that you can have hair that you can adjust and change, give him different expressions with the eyebrows. And he's all ready to go. Well, there you go. Now we've got our face. As you can see, it's not terribly difficult. A lot of fun. It goes pretty quick, but it's really because of its size with the 360s, it gives a lot of impact. Of course, you can make it smaller with 260s and 160s, depending on what you want to do, and even bump it up to 660s or 646s or whatever. Make it really big. As with anything, it's just whatever you want to do with it. So have lots of fun with this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out the links below for the cool t-shirts and other things that are in the links. Have a great day. Remember to stay twisted.